Hello, I'm going to continue to demonstrate to you how to use the digital database known as ArtStore. It is a database of images that are in digital format and saved as JPEGs that you can use throughout your academic studies for, let's say, PowerPoint presentations, uh, illustrating papers and reports, those types of things. And so the first thing you need to do is have registered as a student and registered an account <clears throat> with ArtStore. If you haven't done that yet, you need to go back to the first video on how to register for an account and do so. Once you've done that, come back to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to search for an image, locate it, and then how to save it onto your hard drive so that you can use it to include in PowerPoint presentations and in illustrations and on posters and those types of things. So the first thing again, very quickly, what you want to do is go to the uh, home page, which is www.nsula.edu. So this is Northwestern State's home page. You access the university libraries down here under Quick Links. You double click. You get to the uh, library page and we're going to search the database directories. We want arts, music, and humanities. And of course, I've gone through all of this with you in the first video. You click on it and we will go now to Art Store. Log into it. I'm, I've already logged in, but if you're not logged in, log in using the information that you entered when you registered, the email address and the password. And then once you do that, you are now ready to search for what you want. Okay? And so let's just say that you're studying, uh, you have to write a paper on pre something about prehistoric art, and you're going to be uh, writing about prehistoric ceramics. Okay? So the what you want to do is search. Let's just start it off with prehistoric. Make sure you spell the words correctly or it will send you, it will make suggestions or you'll have to retype it. You click go or you can click return on your computer. Either way will work. And so now that I've typed in prehistoric, you can see that there are all types of prehistoric artifacts and art presented here. And Actually, there are 1,976 of these artifacts. And so that's quite a bit for us to look through. So let's just do an advanced search. And we said we were looking at prehistoric ceramics. So let's say ceramics, ceramic, and maybe like, um, let's type in Egypt and see what we get. Well, that narrows it down to three results for prehistoric Egyptian ceramics, okay, which is great. So if we want to, we can click on any one of these. And so let's, let's select this one, okay? So I'm going to double click on the little thumbnail, and it's going to open up a larger image. And as you can see, these are very high resolution images. They're beautifully taken. And if you want to zoom in to see a certain part, you can. You can do that using the plus. You can do it with the minus. You can get it back to its original uh, format by, by clicking these buttons. Okay. To find out information about this ceramic piece, all you do is click on the I down here and it will call up all of the information there is in art store about this particular piece of ceramics. Uh, it's a pottery vessel. It's a complete vessel, just a little chip in it. Uh, it's classical paritorium, okay? Um, in Egypt, it gives you all, it gives you the measurements. It's 8.5 centimeters by 7.5 centimeters. So it's not a very large ceramic piece at all. It's really quite small. Um, it's a jar, straight neck, tapering body, flat base, miniature. Okay. It's in the Peabody Museum of Art and Ethnology. That's at Harvard. Uh, and you can access Harvard right here if you want to. Um, 
and it tells you it's a download size. So you have all of this information, which is great because you're going to need that if you're going to cite it in a bibliography or in a, in a uh, formal paper for one of your classes. So you have all this information and okay, yes, this is the one I want. I'm very interested in this. So I'm going to want to save it. You can print it if you like, but you can also save it or download this image. And so when you click on this little button, it's going to say terms and conditions of use and you say I read and understand. Now you can click here to read and understand, but basically what you are saying is that you are not going to use this image for anything other than your academic studies, for presentations in classes and at conferences, okay? You are not going to use it in any kind of published paper or anything because once you do that, you're going to have to apply for copyright permission, okay? So you say, yes, I'm just using this for a class. I'm not worried about it. Now, should you need copyright permission, you're going to have to contact the Peabody Museum in order to do that, okay? But for now, we're going to say, I accept these conditions. And then this little window will pop up. And it's going to say, you have chosen to open, and it gives it a number, and it is a zip file, okay? Which means it's compressed, all right? So you say, yes, I want to save this thing. I really like it, and I'm going to use it in my paper. And you do not change at this point this information. You have to leave it just the way it is or it will not save properly. Okay, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. Make sure you know where it's going to go. And then you say save. Okay, and so now here it is. Here's our little uh, file. In order to open the zip drive and to be able to use it, you have to double click on the icon. So double click and it gives you a folder with the exact same title. When you open this folder, you will see that there are two files in it. The first file is an HTML file. It's an address to the information in ArtStore about that particular image. Okay. Again, which is very useful for citing in papers. Okay, So you want to keep that. The second file is a JPEG image. And this is the image that you'll be able to use in your papers and in on your posters and those types of things. Okay, You'll be able to just insert them or drop them into a PowerPoint presentation, anything like that. At this point in time, if you would like to, you can change the name of it. So I'm going to say Prehistoric Ceramic, and it's from Egypt. Okay. You can also rename the folder at this particular point in time. Okay. And so here it is down here. I usually um, move my zip drives. I, I don't keep that just because it takes up space and I'm not going to use it. But here you have all of your information in your little folder. And so now you can use it in any of your presentations or papers. When you are finished using ArtStore, it's always a good idea to log out. And you say, yes, I would like to end this session. And that is how you search for and save images from ArtStore.